So Dana White just dropped a bombshell on us. Uh, June 29th, Conor McGregor is back against Michael Chandler. It's finally announced. It's finally going to happen. And finally, you know, we all thought that it wasn't going to happen. We all thought, you know, McGregor's probably not going to come back. But it looks like it really was all just that roadhouse shit with the film and the movie that caused such a long wait. But we're finally going to have this fight happen. I was, I was literally about to make my reaction video to 300, and then here we are. We're talking about this now. Uh, but great. I'm fucking happy for it. It's not the only fight that got announced. Dana White also announced that Islam Makachev will fight Dustin Poirier at UFC 302 on June 1st. So we've got two pay-per-views coming for June. And Dustin Poirier is getting a title shot. Third time, I thought that it was done. When he fought Charles Oliveira, I thought that was it. But he's got another opportunity here. He might be able to go in there. And finally, finally get that long, that reign, that belt he's been wanting his whole career. He might get that undisputed UFC championship. Uh, I don't think he's going to win, unfortunately. I think Islam's going to beat the shit out of him. But you never know, man. He can definitely clip and KO Islam. I don't know how... MMA math is a weird thing, though, because we just seen Max Holloway beat the absolute dog shit out of Justin Gaethje, like, brutally beat him up and then knock him out cold. But we just seen Justin Gaethje knock out Dustin. But Dustin looked better than ever against Benoit Saint-Denis, so I... Don't know how the fuck this sport works, man. So confusing. Who, who knows? Maybe Dustin is the kryptonite for fucking Islam. Maybe he just KOs him in the first round. But I do think Islam can wrestle with this fight. I think he can have a lot more success on the feet than people realize. I do think that, you know, the high kick is going to be a big weapon for Islam. Uh, obviously, caught Volk with that. I could see him catching Dustin with that, but I still think his best bet is to try and grapple. But who knows, man? Maybe he tries to stand and bang with Dustin and try, try just to prove a point, and then maybe he gets chinned in there. That's, that's a possibility, but I think it's an unlikely one. I think he's probably going to take down. Sorry, my nose is itchy and I have a headache. Uh... I'm not feeling the best right now, but yeah, I just had to make this video. But I'm going to say that Dustin, Dustin Poirier, if you're fucking listening to this video, do not jump the fucking gearly. Don't jump the gear team. Like, please just don't fucking do that. Just don't even think about it, man. If he does that, they should just DQ Dustin and ban him from the UFC forever. Because if he jumps the gearly, that's the most stupid fucking thing he'll ever do in his life. But I don't think he's that stupid, man. Surely fucking not. Surely he knows not to jump the gilly against a guy who's got a really good fucking arm triangle. Because if he jumps the guillotine and he doesn't get it, which he never does, he's going to be flat on his back and Islam's going to sink in that arm triangle and choke him out cold. That's just what's going to happen. There's no two ways about it. I think Islam's going to sub him. That is my prediction for the fight. But maybe I go watch some more tape. You know, Islam's not the most durable guy. This isn't like unwinnable for Dustin. He's also good with the leg kicks. He could stunt the movement of Islam. But, you know, obviously Islam has to be the favorite. And then obviously Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler. I'll give a little quick prediction for that video, uh, for that fight right now. I'm going Conor McGregor. I really am. I think he's going to win. Uh, I know that's crazy to say. Because, you know, obviously, Connor hasn't fought for a while. But Chandler's reckless, and he's going to be, like, 38 years old by the time this fight happens. He's going to be older. He's been knocked down and chinned so many times in his career. Got dropped by and washed Tony Ferguson, which is a horrible fucking look for him. Uh, and, you know, I think the shot that Tony Ferguson caught him with is very similar to what you will see uh, from Conor McGregor. Like, it was a left... I think it was a left hook. You know, long range, has good reach to Tony Ferguson. I think longer than Connor, but Connor's a much better striker. I can see, and also also Charles Oliveira caught him with a left hook. It just seems like I can see him catching him with a left straight or hook or something along them lines. I just think Connor's going to knock him out, man. Uh, like, he's just, it's, it's like a tailor-made matchup. Even if Chandler wrestles, he's probably going to gas. And also, he's probably not going to wrestle. He doesn't have very good fight IQ. Probably going to go in there running and try and brawl with McGregor and they get chinned and knocked out cold. But 
It's good that McGregor's back. I hope he wins because the sport is better when Conor McGregor's in it. Uh, but yeah, that's all I've got to say about these. I'll go make my reaction video now, but I just thought I'd upload this video for you guys. Uh, I'm using my phone, but I might do the, uh, the reaction video on my laptop, but I just wanted to get this one out quick. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.